Hi, welcome to another edition of Tech and Toys. As we said in our last video, we were going to make a giant Pac-Man machine, which is exactly what we've done. Now, Pac-Man, originally called Puck-Man in Japan when it was released in 1980, uh, later changed its name to Pac-Man when it was released internationally. Now, back in 2016, Namco Bandai released the biggest ever Pac-Man arcade machine at over 1.7 meters wide and 2.6 meters tall. It was the biggest that had ever hit the arcades worldwide. But we decided to go a little bit bigger. May the 22nd of this year marks the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man, one of the most iconic video games of all time. So now we're going to play Pac-Man um, on the big screen, released in 1980, so I would have been two years old when this came out. However, it does hold a strong place in my heart because it was one of the games I used to really love playing in the arcade when I was a kid. So without further ado, put some coins in, give it a go. Oh, memories. Yeah, the memories are strong, the gameplay is probably not going to be... Roast into glasses. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's still a great classic a great game. Classic. Though. It's whether you can complete the first level, which is looking kind of unlikely. No, no. Hey, I remember it. I didn't say I was any good at it. We're going for the uh, safety pills to a later technique. No, no, that's not what I want to press. Only one button to press. Look, well, I'm yes. joystick. I'll just eat all of the pills <laughs> straight away. <laughs> I just so couldn't close. get in there with the joystick, it was... That's it. No. That's all right. I know Ooh, going level one way. done. There we go. You know what happens. Level two. Right? You've got your mouth on cherries as well. <laughs> so level two it is then. Yeah. There that you was go. that. I enjoyed that. <coughs> Shall I have a quick go? I'll, I'll be having another go at that later on. Right, here we go. Oh, I remember as a child the technique was to randomly do it as best as you can. It does look like a good technique. Wait for him to come. No! <laughs> See, that's the problem I had. <laughs> yeah, this isn't probably not the best stick to use. But that could be really great in that 80s. Well, I don't ever remember it being... Ooh! No, I don't. Ah, what? How did that happen? I have no idea. It's cheating out of that. Oh, yeah, it does get a bit... A bit stuck on the A bit thing. stuck, yeah. It's okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just got the top half of the board to do it. Yeah, I'm going up. Oh my. What's going on? Oh, I'm on that. And him. And him. Oh, no, this is. That's not good. It's not. No! 
Oh, oh you, if you'd gone left, you would have been fine. Oh. I'm not yeah. going to say it's not a frustrating game. It's very frustrating. Yeah, it's not as good as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but you're only saying that because you're not as good at it uh, as yeah, you exactly, remember. Exactly. Right, but, should we try something else? Yeah, let's give something Try else. something else. So next up, we're going to play Donkey Kong um, from 1981. Again, it's another portrait-style screen game that came in um, a cocktail cabinet style and in an arcade stand-up. So let's get that going. I'm going to let you go first because I am genuinely rubbish at this game. So go ahead and... I, I'd like to say I was a, a lot, a lot better sir, than you at this, but... This does look very really basic. Honesty. I can't exactly remember... Do they throw barrels down and... Yeah. I can get 25 metres. Off we go. Do, do, do. Up we go. Come up. Come up. Come up. <laughs> Not very high then. No. I'll have one more go at that. I, I don't fully remember playing this much in the arcade, if I'm honest. No, I, I mean, obviously, popular, massive. I think this is what spawned Mario on. For yeah, me. yeah, obviously. I mean, massive Mario fan in general, but I presume you can't go up the ladder once you've got the hammer. No. Or the hammer just hand disappears. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, you try. Uh, I don't think I want to. Right. So I was two in 1981. So, um, I, it, although it was out in the arcade for years and years and years. So. <laughs> <laughs> Utter rubbish. Okay, I think it's time to try something different. So, 1942. Now, if you remember this game, this spawned so many top-down scrolling shooters. Yeah, it did. Uh, there has just been so many, and they all originate from this game. This was the first, really. Vertical scrolling, uh, yeah. yeah. Arcade game. Absolutely brilliant. It is a bad Again. Until you die. Just remember it fondly. <laughs> Remember me being a little bit better at it than I actually am. I'm pretty sure there was a follow-up to this, which was 1943, I believe, which was quite off. a successful. Um, oh, I do remember wasting a lot of money playing this. There's your power up. Yeah. Let's get it. Ooh, lasers. Is that the next power up, lasers? Might get the next power. Obviously, I do so remember the yeah, 1942. <laughs> yeah. Whoop, whoop. So far, so good. Whoop. Wow. Okay, Ooh, you just nice. actually dive back. I know. You know from That's because I've forgotten about it. You're probably just an expert. No, so close. There's probably people looking at us thinking, yeah, you're really poor at this game. Yes. Okay. Classic. Something else? Let's see what's next. Let's have a look. Now we're going to play Frogger from 1981, another cocktail cabinet game. Um, I've got good memories of this one as well, so let's give it a go. So have you been practising? May have had a little go. Some years ago. Oh. <laughs> no, I haven't you been practising. <laughs> Right, let's do it properly. I think you need more practice. Of I think. Oh honest. my word, what am I doing? Why don't, we, uh, why don't we try that again? Let's try it again. Here we go. Okay. You, you made out to me like you were a lot better at this game than... Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Now we're on. Let's go in here first of all. Okay. Straight across the road. I don't remember it being on a time limit, but... For the mm. hardest one first. No, that's not the hardest one. Is no, it? it's just the left hand side. Yeah, I was going to say. Ooh, oh, dear. It's been run over. I am. Um, oh, your time's. 
In we go. Up there. Up there. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> okay. No, no. Are you ahead of yourself here? Yeah? yeah, I don't like this game, I've just remembered. Again, another fond memory from 1981. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for the games. Let's um, have a sit down a bit of a recap. Indeed. So there we have it, a little bit of gaming on the big screen with some classic oldies from the uh, early 80s, some of them even late 70s, I think they actually they originally got released. So um, uh, our screen ended up being four metres tall, three metres wide. It did look pretty impressive, it I did. must admit. It's great to play screen. those old games because they're not all moving around, it doesn't make you feel a bit unwell, etc. So it was quite, yeah. quite a nice experience, even if the games haven't aged as well as we think they have. You think about them through rose-tinted yeah. glasses and you think, oh, that was a great game. And you play it now and you think, yeah, it's it's lacking something. They're still but classics. They're still, still classics. classics that you enjoy playing. You can just sort of pick them up. You know, there's no complicated buttons. In fact, the likes of Pac-Man doesn't even have a button bar no. to start. Um, so, uh, yeah, they, they are brilliant fun. But and unlike kind of modern games, if you die and your life's run out, that's pretty much it. You have to start all the way from the beginning unless you keep feeding coins in. So it's, um, yeah, it was a challenge. You can see why people I must just dedicate time to I was playing. pretty good when I was younger at just continually feeding coins, coins into in. these things. Much to my parents' yeah, dismay. Yeah, I can imagine. So some basic specifications for the game and the hardware that it actually run on. It run on a Zelog Z80 CPU with a 16K ROM and 4 kilobytes of RAM and it run at 3 megahertz. Yes, so that gives you some comparison. 16K. I, I think I've got text files that are bigger you than probably 16 have, K. Yeah. So that kind of gives you an overview of how basic it was, but how much they could cram in. And gameplay is probably the essential part yeah. of, you know, without the flashy graphics and everything, you could fit a lot of decent gameplay into those in a very small mm. file size. Don't forget, if you enjoyed our video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and get on our list so you can see all of our latest videos that we post up.